Hey, what's good viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Build-A-Figure Jubilee from the X-Men Wave that was pretty much an exclusive to Toys R Us. I believe they all were. Uh, yeah, they all were. And he basically, yeah, I didn't build it on screen or I didn't do like a little fast forward because really this was just such a basic build. I mean, it came in, what, one, two, three separate parts or something like that. Pretty basic crap. Four separate parts. You get the head, and it comes with the effects and everything like that, so, yeah. Nothing too exciting. They kind of took a step back. During this time with the Builder figures with these small Builder figures they were smaller than this. They had Rocket Raccoon and Pug, which are pretty freaking lame. So at least they got bigger, and nowadays they're doing Hulk's build a what do you call them, Hulk Busters and stuff like that, so, you know, they're, they're trying. Uh, Hasbro's trying, that's for sure. So he's got a pretty basic female body mold here. It copies the Spider-Woman in the black suit body mold. They used it a few times. Uh, this is kind of one of the first times they used it, I believe. This is an older figure. The overall style of the figure is okay. A bit bland. We do see black through the jacket right here, but I'm not going to make a big stink about that. It's not a huge deal. And we'll look at the particle effects right here that come with the hands. Let's zoom in on that. And then, it's a really nice mold. It's not bad at all. I do like the sparkles in there. It gives it a nice little added touch. It's nice because you can use it on a lot of different figures, I would assume. And I like it. This fits over the fist. And this one kind of fits on her other hand that's going, like, weird. Doctor Strange, Spider-Man almost looking stuff. Everything else on her is just kind of black. She's got a little bit of a zipper design there. Paint came out okay. No complaints over there. No shading at all, pretty much throughout. Her hair is probably the best part of her sculpt. Like the way it's coming over her glasses, that's pretty unique and stylish looking. I like that a lot. They did a good job with the hair. It's probably where they did the best job. Her face, yeah, the eyes are way too far apart. Definitely. And at least the eyes are centered and they look okay. They've really messed up before and I've got a little bit of a weird piss paint mishap there. I said piss. Oops. Uh, but yeah. It's okay, not not great. They could have done a, definitely a lot better on the face there. And uh, I'd also like to point out, this isn't really a classic look for Jubilee. It may be what she looks like right now in the comic books, but just look up Jubilee, and she's kind of like a short little girl, and she's got, you know, Daisy Dukes on with blue jeans, and she looks really cute. And here, she kind of looks like some kind of dominatrix kind of crap. Not a big fan of the design. It's just a little bit too basic for me. Uh, I just, she has a really outlandish design and she looks really cool if you've seen it before, but here it's just, uh, it didn't look like they tried very hard, especially since this is supposed to be a Build-A-Figure, I would have liked to have seen a lot more effort put into it, because you had to buy other figures just to get this, and you're supposed to be happy when you get it, and I'm just not happy with the design, I mean, this is back in a day where Hasbro was just really failing on their Build-A-Figures and figures overall for the most part, and they're getting better now. But it took a while for them to get better. Anyways, let's go through the articulation. Her head will go down that far. It won't go back that far because of the uh, jacket here. The, the Whatever, I can't think of the name. Going blank. It'll go up that high. She'll do the 360. Oh, she'll do the exorcist as well. She's got a single jointed elbow here. And then we got a swivel with a hinge. But it's blocked by her cuff, so it can't really go down and up much at all. She has a diaphragm joint that isn't doing her much favors because it barely is usable. It will spin, it will swivel, but other than that you're not getting much out of it. Her legs will go up that high, they won't go back that far because of the coat jacket. Upper thigh swivel, a double jointed knee with the gummy joints. You may have heard me complain about those before. Hasbro had a bad time back then with these gummy joints. I mean look how much that bends. It's just it's pretty horrible not good and then we get a calf swivel and then we get the ankles on a hinge and on a swivel ball joint so ankle rockers I think it's what have been dubbed by Shardimus Prime, Shardimus Prime. Uh, you can take off this jacket but I don't really recommend it because even if you take it off she's still gonna have yellow arms so it's basically just gonna be yellow arms on a black suit I mean, if that's the way you want to rock it, then that's the way you want to rock it, but it ain't going to look right. 
And plus, the yellow jacket is kind of the only thing on this figure besides the sunglasses that makes it look like Jubilee. So if she didn't have the purple glasses here and the yellow jacket, she could be pretty much anybody. But the yellow jacket is kind of something that's synonymous with Jubilee throughout the comics and the cartoon. So that's kind of, you know, you don't want to take that off, is what I'm trying to say, because then you, she doesn't look like Jubilee anymore. She looks like just some random woman. Overall, would I recommend this? <sighs> Not really, considering how much. It would probably be cheaper just to buy the bath if you really wanted it. Because Magneto and definitely Storm fetch a price. Storm fetches a price about 60 brand new. If you wanted the price, uh, if, if you wanted some of the figures, which one? Storm comes with the body and legs. So Storm comes with all of this. And she's the most expensive. So what I'm trying to say is it would definitely be cheaper just to buy the build a figure separately if that's what you wanted. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't recommend this figure because it's going to cost a bit. And by herself, buying her alone does cost a lot. But it's just... It's just, you're paying too much for not a great figure. Unless you're some kind of completist, then it's a definite pass by me. She's not great at all. Just really plain. Ugh. The coolest thing about her is these effects they come with. I can use those with different figures. I really don't think I'll be using much of her in any of my pictures. Just because it's just a really nasty, bland design. Other than that, guys, I do appreciate you watching. Peace.